5 Reasons Antonio Brown is the NFL MVP over Brady Tom Brady didn't seem so MVP-like in Monday night's loss to the Miami Dolphins, did he? He completed 55.8% of his passes, tossed a pair of interceptions and posted a QB rating of 59.5. That doesn't take away from the incredible season he's having. But that game opens the door for the man who deserves this year's NFL MVP, Antonio Brown. Let's break down why. Everyone has a litmus test for awards and Hall of Fame eligibility, and here's mine for MVP, where would the team be if he wasn't on the roster? Certainly not 11-2, tied for the league's best record with the Eagles. Yes, Le'Veon Bell, who, by the way, is averaging just 3.9 yards per carry, helps, and the Steelers' defense, 6th overall in the league, 5th and VA, deserve some love. But without a receiver who continues to shred secondaries week after week, the Steelers wouldn't be the fourth most prodigious offense, especially when you consider that Ben Roethlisberger has struggled at times. And if you're arguing that Brady's done everything on his own without that kind of support. The Patriots have the 15th best rushing attack, which isn't great, but it certainly isn't nothing. But his receiving core including bona fide stars like Rob Gronkowski and Brandon Cooks, who deserves that title even if you don't view him that way, are great and the Pats defense has actually improved since that putrid start to the 2017 season. And, oh yeah, his head coach is Bill Belichick. Back to Brown. He leads the Andre Hopkins by 11 in receptions with 99, is up to 1,509 yards receiving nearly 300 more than Hopkins, and is two touchdowns behind his Texans counterpart with three weeks to go. Do you know how many receivers since 1992 have led the league in all three categories? 1. It was Steve Smith in 2005. Five games of 10-plus receptions and 140-plus yards, and one game of 10 catches and 110. Also, these are some fun stats, now. Here's an interesting exercise, what if Brown reaches 2,000 yards receiving, breaking Calvin Johnson's record of 1,964 in 2012? What would you say to that? I doubt it's going to happen, but if he puts up three more contests with 150 yards each, he'll be so close. Guess who the Steelers and Patriots play this Sunday? Each other. If Brown burns the Pats secondary en route to a win, you can bet the volume will be turned up even louder on all this MVP talk. More, how the Dallas Cowboys can make the playoffs Charles Barkley urges Alabama to vote for Doug Jones, stop looking like idiots to the nation Mike Glick on Lavar Ball, what in the hell has he gotten these kids into? Golf, finally, ditches the stupidest rule in sports Mike Glick Jr. raids his dad's swag-filled office to get him a birthday gift.